Shing. Shing. My lord, I'm sorry I let you down. Stupid and dumb. You can't finish anything I tell you to. Don't tell people that you're my apprentice. <sighs> Those people were after you. I was caught in the middle. So? Want to rebel? If you do, why didn't you kill me in the cave? I wanted to, but I was scared. You're scared? You don't look scared to me. A spy's greatest crime is acting without authorization. When you found out where the spies were going, you should have reported to me and waited. You came to me even before I could make a report. Fine. You're injured. Go home and rest. Report any findings to me after I return. Yes. The Master's here! My lord, we're seven. He tracked down the Leong spies and led a party of Yeguards to Red Hill Court. Red Hill Court? You should follow him. Yes, yes. yes. My lord, let me help. Aren't you listening to me, Xing? I want you to rest. Don't worry. She. I brought medicine from Lord Ye. It treats trauma.
Shaolin. These are really expensive. Lord Ye treats you so well. Shaolin's doing well. As for me, nobody cares. Shaoba. Oh, this ointment treats scars. It's also from Lord Ye. <sighs> Lord Ye sent me an ointment. <laughs> 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 Please thank the master. Goodbye. Where does Lord Ye get his information? He seems to know everything. But that's great. Both of you are going to recover real soon. I'll be back. I'll prepare your medicine. Um, I'm going to go and try this new ointment. <laughs> Chu Chao. My name is Chu Chao. I'm not from the Jing family. Loho is my mother. Who are the people who killed her? My lord, my grandfather fell ill. You learned you went to save Xing, and he fell ill with rage. Who told him about that? Ah, my lord. Lord Zhuo commanded me not to let anyone in. Open it. Sky Eye will not be destroyed on my watch. The Sky Eye will not be destroyed on my watch. The Sky Eye will not be destroyed on my watch. The Sky Eye. Hey, money bags! Silver, Ruby! Come home for lunch! Always out wandering. So about some. Why do you pretend that you can't see your old friend? <laughs> Don't found tea. You live such a quiet life, so about some. What are you doing here, huh? Hmm. Darn it. Every time you show up, bad things happen. You're Marquis Ding Bei's man. What are you doing here in Shaman? Northern Yan got boring, so I wanted to look around. <laughs> look around? I seem to remember that the last time you looked around, Luo He was assassinated. Maybe you've come back to help the Prince Yan escape the city. I hope you won't get involved in that. I don't want people to just drop dead. You misunderstood me, my friend. No, I understood you perfectly. You know, if it was up to me, I would be happy to never have met you. <laughs> never have met me? If we never met, you'd be dead long ago. And you wouldn't be able to hide here for many years. Tell me, who do you offend this time? I saw your shop, now a pile of rubble. Does it matter? Does it matter to you? Just tell me what you want and be done with it! Did you find the person I asked you to find? I found some clues. Hmm. <laughs> Fine, fine. <laughs> okay, okay. Ah. So you see, I found a young woman. This young woman was carrying a wooden bead on her belt. The kind of bead that you made years ago. The one Luo He always carried. How old is she? Around 16. You checked her background? Of course. Oh, but it's a pity. She has amnesia. She has forgotten everything. Everything about her past. Pity. Amnesia? 
her fighting skills. No inner force, style different from yours. Could it be that she's hiding it? Do you think that a teenager could pull that off in a fight to the death? Where is she now? Huh? Where's the girl? You really think I'm going to tell you? You're just going to... to kill her if I do. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't you worry. I'm going to find out who she is for you. If she's really the one who killed Luo He back then, I will hand her over to you. But if she isn't... If she isn't, then what? It's not her. I'll protect her with my life. Zhong hmm? Yu, why... Why are you here? Your Highness, the Marquis sent me here to bring you back. What's the matter? I haven't seen you for many years and miss you very much. My illness makes me yearn for your return even more. But because you're a hostage, it will displease the Emperor if you leave Chang'an for all to see. Thus, I've sent Zhong Yu to escort you back in secret so that I may see my son again. My father wants you to bring me home. Mm. I know it's sudden, so I wish you'd understand and cooperate with me. What is father thinking? I'm a hostage. Leaving the capital is a crime. If I go with you, the Emperor will condemn all of Northern Yan. Is my father trying to get me arrested? Or is he declaring war? Your Highness, even if you decide not to go back to Northern Yan, the Emperor will still accuse your father of treason. Is the situation that serious? There is still hope. The Marquis has his army and can protect himself. But then, if the Emperor has you, then the army can't protect you, and the Emperor holds all the cards. Only your return to Northern Yan can free the Marquis of his worries, and attack or defend as he wishes. Also, if the Emperor can't put pressure on the Marquis, then he's likely to act rashly. Your Highness, time is running out, so we really hope you can decide soon. I'll return to Northern Yan. However, I'll need to bring someone. Who will you bring? It's a girl. I promised I'd take her. You must give me some time. She'll come to Northern Yan with me. But your highness, many people have their eyes on you. And your mansion is under surveillance. Your escape must be carefully planned. If anyone finds out, we won't be able to get you out. We need to be cautious. Don't worry. She's an ordinary girl. She won't give away our plans. Besides, everyone here knows I'll return home after Chun's coming of age ceremony. We're just leaving earlier. If that's the case, I will make arrangements. Your Highness, please inform the Marquis so you can reassure him. Hmm. This is urgent. Please deliver it quickly. Please don't worry. I'll get it done quickly.
saw people from Liang replace the princess letter outside his mansion. It's just as you expected. Now it's up to you, sir. Yanshen, when you stole the letter, he didn't notice. Why did they steal his letter? If the Emperor sees. Marquis Dingbei's letter to Yanshan. Disaster will befall Northern Yan. I'll change it to appear harmless before handing it to the Emperor. I hope this way, Northern Yan can avoid disaster. the Marquis's letter to Yanshan. My lord, today's training seems different. What do you mean? It looks like... I'm about to learn how to kill people in real combat. You seem very anxious to learn. Last time, when I fought the spies from Liang, if you hadn't come to my rescue... 
I know I'm not good enough, so I want to learn much more. Poor young woman. You're so competitive. <laughs> That's because I'm a spy. If I don't master any skill, won't that mean you failed as a teacher? You're getting much bolder. I'm just a lot more comfortable telling you how I really feel about things now. Don't you want to hear the truth? Keep your thoughts to yourself. I don't want to hear them. You are truly very wise, my lord. Well, today I will teach you how to kill people from afar, undetected. This is a folding crossbow. It's easy to carry, it's light and very fast. after I've fired six bolts. That means that you've encountered a great master. Have you heard anything about ice bolts? Ice bolts? I thought only you could use those. They're weapons. Anyone can use them. The key is whether you are able to handle them. Using ice bolts requires you to master specific movements and techniques. They're different from common bolts. I'll teach you step by step. Had I known, I would have greeted you outside. <laughs> I heard that you'd returned. So I came to visit you in person. Oh, I'm grateful, your highness. Tell me, your trip, how did it go? It was good. I'll be honest. I'm here to ask for your advice. I received this letter. Please take a look. Do you think this was written by my son, Shun? <sighs> this was written by spies from Liang. Spies from Liang? Yes. I came across them during my trip to Chang'an. They replaced Prince Yan's letter to make you go to Chang'an. They're hoping that the Emperor will kill you for them, causing Northern Yan and Wei to go to war. But the prince was already aware of Liang's intentions and asked me to give you another letter. What was that? Sun wrote a second letter for me? Here it is. wrong, Your Highness? My son. Something has happened to him. How could that be? He's asking about my waist injury in his letter and says that he has found a skilled doctor. He will send him to Northern Yan to treat me soon. This 
is a code we agreed upon a long time ago. That is to say, that Sun is already in grave danger and urgently needs my help. Is that so? Those people have really gone too far this time. I'm going to go to Chang'an right away. Your Highness, please don't go. If I tell the Emperor I'm coming, and travel in broad daylight, they can't say that I am doing anything wrong. I still think that. If you must go, we should make preparations and bring enough troops to protect you, Your Highness. Once I get there, if the Emperor wants to kill me, then I guess there's nothing I can do to stop it. It doesn't matter. I've been avoiding him for long enough. I've had enough of it. I will start writing to the Emperor right away. You'll have my letter sent to Chang'an to the Emperor himself. Make sure he knows that I am coming to the capital. If he must kill someone, it might as well be me. But I will not let him touch my son. Dong Fangji. Yes. I want you to know that I'm privileged to be receiving your advice. There's no one in this world I trust more than you. Your Highness, do you still not want to overthrow the Emperor, even after all this? I've said this countless times before. I'm more than happy to avoid the Emperor or ignore his commands. But I would never rebel against him. I'll get ready, Your Highness. Guards! Guards! Your Majesty. Help! Help, What's my wrong? love! Look at me. Is my head still on my shoulders? Your Majesty, please don't worry. It was just a dream. It's not real. It was such a... a terrible dream. I dreamt that Yan Shi Chung cut my head off and hung it on his city walls. Calm down, Your Majesty. Don't think about it. Put down the ginseng soup and leave us. As you wish. It's all right, don't worry. Please, Your Majesty, don't think about it. Yan Shicheng would not dare. I must. Get rid of him. I have to. Yes. Rebellion is still a crime even if it's only happening in your majesty's dreams. No. I want evidence. Evidence of his rebellion. Go. Have you and Ye and you and Y look for evidence. They'll find it for All me. Right. They'll find it. All right, your majesty. I will help you in any way I can. I will pass your orders. Report! Your Majesty! A secret letter from you and Ye! <sighs> Family matters. I don't need this. Go and see what you and Y is doing. Yes! Sir, 
Is this the memorial the Marquis wrote for the Emperor? Should we send the letter out immediately? Zhang He. A man who has no ideals is but an animal. My master told me I wasn't upright. That I couldn't practice Wan Zhuo's skills. But I have skillful hands. <sighs> With these hands, I could become a legendary craftsman. But... I will not settle for making things for others. If I may, I think you can still... <sighs> Ten years. It has taken me ten years. Yan Shi Chang is not the man I'm looking for. Yang Ha, pack our things. We won't return to North again. Each weapon has its own features and advantages. You should pick your weapon based on the combat situation. If a weapon is used in the wrong moment, then it can't reveal its full potential. My lord. If I ever encounter a situation where I'm unarmed, how do I kill my enemy? Who told you you need weapons to kill? It depends on whether you can adjust to circumstances. Now, I'll teach you some skills that every spy must master to deliver a letter. Follow me. Secret letters must undergo special treatment or the reports will leak out. This is revealing powder. Are you ready yet? Yes, the I am. The steward told us to clean the foyer, remember? Right, and we'll do it. I wonder what's going on with Xiao Liu. She's acting so mysterious. I barely ever see her now. Xiao Liu, you're back. Mm-hmm. Are you hungry? I prepared food. Ah, uh, all right. I'll go and eat. <sighs> Xiao Qi, Xiao Liu will be fine, but we won't be if we don't hurry and clean that foyer. Come uh, on, Xiao Liu, don't forget to eat! Right.
my lord. I came as soon as I could. What do you need? Why do we keep failing? To round up with the other spies. It's my fault, my lord. Unbelievable. You and Chua are still alive. I faked my death and hid here. To conceal myself from other people. But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to manage the affairs of the Sky Eye. I'm warning you now. You shouldn't be so careless from now on, Seven. Yes, my lord. Please forgive me. <sighs> What's the next step of Ye's plan? First and foremost, Lord Ye has ordered his men to find the whereabouts of the Liang spies who got away from us after the battle the other day. The best unseen spies have been ordered to follow you and Huai. He hopes to find evidence of his collusion. Good. When you find it, just stick to the plan. Make Xing an undying spy. An undying? If she survives the mission, I want her gone. I'll send her away on missions. In the up territory. My lord, that will be a death sentence for her. Ye has trained her so that we can use her as a powerful weapon whenever it suits our needs. Yeah. 